Uh, we would like to uh, streamline uh, the page, the, the timesheet, the, this one. I uh, would like to uh, reduce it to just six categories. And uh, as a uh, default setting for that. And right now we have like, I don't know, 15 categories. So we'd like to reduce it to six. Is it something that we could do it on our own? Or is it something that you have to, uh, you know, you do it on your end? Um, the, the list of categories that shows up here is configurable by you. Okay. But um, how many categories there are, you know, the, the total list here is yeah. something that, that has to match up to your your payroll breakouts and your program tracking breakouts. Correct. So the, there'll be six as the uh, 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 default categories, and then the other categories would be a uh, uh, part of the drop down menu. So if there's okay. a need for that uh, category, we can just add it on. Uh, Got it. For a time so really, what we're talking about then is if I go to configuration and yes, I say pretty much a configuration, yes. Yep, in timesheet templates. So you can add a template here. Right, um, or mm -hmm. modify these templates so that let's say on the staff template, instead of having all of these show up all the time, you want mm -hmm. only six or seven to show up normally. And then if the employee needs another category for a given week or a given payroll period, they could add that category for that payroll period. Is that what you're looking for? Yes. So let's just go ahead and I'm, I'm going to make a new template here just to, to, to do a test. Um, so let's say normally people are gonna have their ag activity, test site activity and weights activity because everyone always does that. And then we'll have surveillance and uh professional support direct and indirect yes so now i'll go over to my account in user admin and i will say okay from here on out i'm going to use the smaller test timesheet template now that means when i start a new timesheet i'm going to get that template it, it's not going to affect my existing time cards, right? Because I've already got time entered here. So if I jump forward to a week that I haven't been to yet, then I'll get this smaller menu. All right, so it takes takes a little while for that to, take, to, to kick into effect to get past all the timesheets I've already started looking at. But now this would be my short timesheet. And then if I took some vacation in this week, I would just use this yes. to add the vacation. And this this list here includes everything. So, you know, just the, because the timesheet template that I'm using only has six rows or seven rows, I'll always be able to use any timesheet category that's available to add to my time card. Mm 